So in this video we're going to take a look at how we can visualize most important simulations with inside Ecotech, Radiance and Dacium and 2ds Max Design and how we can bring these analysis together to look at distribution, quantity and qualitative amount of daylighting coming into a building or space. A very important factor looking at analysis and interpretation of daylight simulation is to bring simulation together. And here I just created a, a quick sheet where I can use the strength and most useful simulations from, from uh, this workflow here. So at the early stages I'm using Ecotech for looking at distribution and quantity, looking at the daylight factor using the CIE overcast sky condition, which is only looking at the geometry and the physical context. Then at a later stage I want to look at the distribution quantity and quality, and then using a tool like Radiance where we can of course do the numeric simulation, but where we can also use and, and create daylight visualization that allows us to examine how this room will look like under various sky conditions. So here in Ecotech really we are looking at the quantity and it's not that useful for looking at the qualitative amount of daylight. So that's where we need to use it in combination with radiance where we can examine the quality and examine other sky conditions than we can use in Ecotech just looking at an overcast sky condition. And then in radiance, combining with a daylight visualization where we can overlay force, colors, contour bands, daylight factors, etc. I haven't brought in 3ds Max Design because 3ds Max Design is really overlapping and it's really u more useful at a later stage where we'll have uh, some real BIM geometry. So this allows us to do numeric simulations and, and visual interpretation of daylight levels within inside the model. So check out, let's take a, a quick look into the different applications starting in Ecotech here. A good way is that to use Ecotech is that it's really easy to set up an analysis grid on our model. And we can of course visualize uh, the grid in, in Visualize and in the 3D editor. Normally I'm just using a plan view here in the 3D editor and I'm click show average value which allows me to have an average value that's really good for comparing different design solutions. And I can also look at daylight levels but the daylight levels have a tendency to be very underestimated because it's really an overcast day. So it just allows us to look at the quantity and the distribution. And looking at these values in Ecotech, it's really important to remember the, the scale here because the color is really adaptive to the scale. So let's say I want to look where it's between 0 and 2%. Okay, I can see that I have at least 2%, which was what I was looking for in this case here. And I can scale for the maximum value and I can, sh can choose the number of c contours that I want to look at, 0 0.5 here. You can also go to the grid management here and you go to manage grid data and you can then analyze the data directly with inside Ecotech and you can take this graph out to Excel and use it in Microsoft Excel later on for bringing these analysis together. Uh, we created this simple Excel sheet here that allows us to look at different form proposals and different kinds of uh, design alternatives and then just really hardcore looking at the numeric values for deciding which um, design were performing the, the most optimal way. But again this is only a numeric validation we also have to think about the design <laughs> and the design intent. So here in this project here I export the model and did the analysis in uh, Radiance and then imported the data back here on the grid with inside Ecotech and you can clearly see that for a south facing building here during the summer based on this geometry and based on this context here we will have possibility to have glare here so here we need to work with the activity level and use of the building to see if building is performing the right way and then use DACIM which create this really great report also telling us how we are going with our lead credentials and also giving us two very important things here the daylight autonomy and the useful daylight indicator which shows us where we will have a useful amount of daylight and also a good way to look at how optimized our design is uh, in regard to the use of daylight and then of course at a later stage we can implement 3ds max which can 
do a lot of the same cool things, looking at data overlay on a visualization and numeric simulations on a grid here. And also allows us to work with the scale, let's see, to 2500 here. So it really has a lot of the same functionality, but it's really two of the same things uh, working with the results here. And then at the end, bringing the result together in a, in a kind of visualization where we can create some notes and maybe using an Excel sheet for looking at the different uh, proposals.